Hey everyone, today we're making honey mustard crusted baked corned beef for sandwiches on the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. So you're probably asking why corned beef, because St. Patty's Day is past and that's when it's traditionally served. Well, the truth of the matter is, is I missed St. Patty's Day completely. I didn't get any corned beef and cabbage. I didn't get any corned beef sandwiches. I didn't even get any Irish beer. I mean, what kind of a crime is that? So I just got this craving for corned beef sandwiches. Now I went to the grocery store and that's where the good news comes in. Is that corned beef a couple weeks after St. Patty's Day is screaming cheap because they're trying to dump it all. So I decided today I'm gonna take a few minutes out. Well, actually it's gonna be a few hours and show you how I make baked corned beef and I'm going to do it on the Camp Chef Smoke Vault. Now I picked up a nice chunk of Harris Ranch beef. Corned beef. Did that come out right? Harris Ranch corned beef. And this is mild cured. So I chose the mild cure because I didn't want all the extra uh, seasoning on it and I didn't want all the extra brine from the salt in there. So it's a little milder. I also washed it off completely to get some more of that extra salt. Heck, it didn't even come with a brining packet. Uh, so this is gonna turn out really good with the uh, mustard glaze on the top. So before we fire up the Camp Chef Smoke Vault, let's go over our ingredients and put this together. What I have here is about a three and a half pound uh, piece of brisket. And looking at this, I believe this is actually the uh, point and I'm leaving the fat cap on the top. It's really, it's a perfect cut for sandwiches. Got our grain going across, uh, grain going this way. So when we bake it, we're gonna cut it across the grain. I'm gonna get some really nice slices out of this. So you wanna take a look at that when you go to buy some just for sandwiches. I'm gonna be using, uh, and I don't measure these ingredients out. I typically just go by uh, uh, eye, and forgive me if you will, but I'm probably dealing with about four tablespoons of honey here and this is a nice clover honey that I like to use. And I have some really nice stone ground mustard, maybe three tablespoons there. And then I typically use a dark brown, um, uh, brown sugar, but I only had some golden brown sugar and that'll work just fine. Uh, but I'll be using about half of this to mix. And then you'll also need a baking tray and some aluminum foil. I like the heavy duty uh, Reynolds wrap uh, non-stick. There's a little plug for them. And then I'm also gonna be using a remote thermometer. So I'll have my uh, probe inserted into my brisket to get an accurate temperature measurement on that. So let's make our glaze. Again, about half my brown sugar. I'm gonna reserve some of this to sprinkle on uh, the last part of the cook. I'm gonna add my stone ground mustard. It's got some really good flavors. And there's so many of them out there. Try to find something original and unique to try. You really appreciate it when you do that. And my honey. So we just want to get these blended together. So before I do anything, I want to make sure I get my uh, probe in. And you really have to determine, you know, where you want to put it in at, but we want to get it in the middle in the thickest part. I'm going to go in a little bit of an angle because I want to get the probe as close to the brisket as possible. There we go. Okay, I'm comfortable with that. Now let's get our glaze on the top. You can approach this two ways. You can coat the whole thing or just put it over the top. Now I'm going to put it over the top. Uh, but before I make that mess, let me show you what I did. I just took my baking tray and I put a nice sheet of aluminum foil in there. And then I'm gonna put my brisket in the center of that. Get my probe down. I'm gonna take my glaze. I'm gonna put it right over the top. Now this is gonna ooze everywhere and down the sides. Okay, so now I want to seal this up. Just like that, and we're gonna put it in the Camp Chef smoke vault. So let me show you how I'm gonna set this up. 
and basically I am just, I, I took out the uh, water tray, I took out the smoke tray, and I left in one rack that I'm going to use, and that's just uh, maybe two-thirds up from the bottom. I'm going to set this on medium, and what I'm looking for is about 325 degrees. This is not a slow cook. Um, it's, you know, it's just a, a regular bake, and that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, we're right at 300 degrees. We're going to be creeping up to 325 any minute now. I want to get my pan in there. And I'm going to run my probe right out the top. And start baking. Now with a three pound corned beef brisket, I'm looking at about an hour per pound at 325 degrees. So that's what we're shooting for. If you're temping this, and I'm going to be temping it, probably looking somewhere in the range of 185, 195 is what we're looking at. And we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, so we just hit 185 degrees. So let's get this out and take a look. Okay, so what I want to do is open this up. Oh my goodness. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it open and I'm going to put another coating of brown sugar on it and I'm going to cook it probably for another 30 to we might go an hour. So just like that and I want it back in Camp Chef Smoke Vault. I'm going to cook it until we're about 195. The top's browned up nicely and it's tender because I'm getting hungry. So we've been in there for just about three hours now. I'm at 195. I've opened it up. I've let it caramelize on the top a little bit. And I want to pull it out. Okay, I want to get that probe out of there. Okay, nice. Now, I want to cover it up, and I'm going to rest it for a good 15, 20 minutes. All right, let's slice some of this up. We still have some fat cap on there, and that's okay. Go across. Oh, this is so tender. Slice it as thin as you want. You can trim that fat cap off if you want. You can leave it on. That is just heaven. Okay, I have some really nice Jewish rye bread. I'm going to take my corned beef and I'm going to pile it on there. Nice thin cuts. I'm going to add my favorite. On top of that, it's almost a violation. This is so good, but I'm going to put some you know, a mustard on there. That's the way I roll. There it is. Give this a nice cut in half. And that is what I've been waiting for all day. The moment of truth. Mm. That's so tender. Hey everybody, I hope you liked that. That was my honey mustard baked corned beef and it's just fabulous if you're tired of that boiled soggy corned beef then you got to give this a try i did it entirely in my camp chef smoke vault and it turned out fabulous it took about three hours overall maybe a little just a hair over that and it's super tender super flavorful
Before I go, I want to talk to you about my sponsors, Camp Chef at OutdoorCooking.com and Island Grillstone. Without them, none of this would be possible. Would not be a Cooking Everything Outdoors show. So go visit them. Go say hi. Tell them Gary sent you and go buy something. They're great people. And that's it. I hope to see you next week. I got a new video coming out for you every Friday for the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. A tips video every Tuesday. And I'm going to be sneaking in product reviews from time to time. I'll see you guys later.